welcome to Gigi Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're doing the reading for dear Virgo. Happy birthday, my dear Virgo. So here, my dear Virgo, um, this is going to be a reading for the whole month of September. Yes, I said the whole month of September because for me, this month is a busy month. So I won't have much time after work or during the weekend to, uh, to do the reading. So I'm doing it uh, for the whole month. But I'll be back three, in three weeks with the, uh, the reading for the beginning of October. So my dear Virgo here, like you can see, it was, uh, sorry. So my dear Virgo here, please take into consideration that this is going to be her general reading. So contrary to a personal one, it might not all resonate with you. So take what belongs to you and let go of the rest. If the reading doesn't resonate with you at all, my dear Virgo, you can always watch the video in link with one of your rising sign or just let it be. Maybe I didn't have a message specially for you for this month. So my dear Virgo, like you can see here, the card are already on the table. I did this, the reading in uh, French and now I'm translating it for you in English. So my dear single Virgo, like you can see here, it's going to be a, a start of something. A new beginning with someone. Not, I cannot say it's love yet, but it's someone that you're going to be attracted with in the month of um, of September. It's someone that you're going to meet, but um, uh, you weren't expecting it. It's like a, a cheveu sur la soupe. Like someone who just showed up somewhere where you used to be and huh, there's a, there's a spark. You have to understand here, my dear Virgo, and this is, this is good news. Even though it's just a spark, it's a spark with a lot of potential here. So you guys going to have things in common, going to click. Um, conversation seems going to be, seems to be easy between you two. At the beginning, like I said, the earlier is just a spark. So it's nothing serious going to start here with the energy of Ace of Pentacles. It's just like, you getting to know each other, but just that situation is going to make both of you very happy. Um, it's like uh, you enjoying the exchange that you have with each other. The exchange you might deal here with a, um, a, a air sign, either a Gemini, a Libra or a Aquarius. It's someone that you're going to find very interesting that you're going to connect that you're going to connect with intellectually and maybe have fun with because I think maybe you guys are going to do some activities together um, maybe decide to go on a date but it's everything's going to be light um, that I feel that here your person with the energy of the eight of cups here in reverse it's like your, your person is coming from um, maybe a breakup a situation that he just left behind and now he's just getting is, is, he is in the energy where is the, that person is trying to balance the, the, the wound that they have in their heart, um, the fact that they want to meet someone new and the fact that they want to build something with someone new, but they want to take their time to do that. So they, please don't put any pressure on them. Just go with the flow here. Um, with the energy of the King of Wands here, I feel that it's someone that is very charismatic, very also um, charismatic, outgoing, someone that has uh, a lot of ideas for um, for activities. Probably someone with um, with a lot of style, so it's going to catch your eyes also here. Um, but with the energy of the Queen of Wands in reverse, I don't feel it's someone that's going to open up right away. Uh, with everything that they feel they're gonna keep some for themselves and they're still gonna be open to maybe have other relationships so you're still in the phase where you're getting to know each other so don't put pressure don't, don't try to have too much expectation for the month of, um, of September because even though I'm telling you that the, the potential is here for growth um, if you put pressure with whatever that person went through before, uh, I don't feel that they're gonna, gosh, what is they're gonna like the pressure and you might make them run away. 
So here we ask here for you, my dear Virgo, um, uh, we asked the Oracle uh, what was the message in that situation for you. And here, ending brings new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So you are your person, but I feel here is your person is in a transition. The person that you're meeting, uh, for them it's a new beginning, like for you also, because if you're single, the reading was for single people, and there's potential here. So live every moment, get to know the person, don't watch too much tarot reading. I know I'm not supposed to say that it's not good for my channel, but sometimes it's good to have a bit, a little bit of mystery, mystery, and, and let the let let things evolve naturally. Because when you know too much, sometimes you try to take take a few steps ahead, and you just ruin the moment. So enjoy. Don't ask any question about the past relationship also because you don't know if that person uh, is going to uh, feel um, that open to share that with you. If they come with the subject, that's another thing. But uh, please don't say, I watch uh, Gigi Taro and she told me that you might be coming from uh, an old relationship that hurt you. No. If they open up, they open up and you, you can talk about it. But if not... Just live the moment. Let uh, let um, both of you go through that growth and a new beginning. So my dear uh, Virgo, I hope that the reading did resonate with you. If yes, uh, you can always like the, the video, share, and subscribe to the channel if it's not done already. So with this, I tell you thank you. And I see you guys in three weeks for the readings uh, for the first month of October. Take care. Bye-bye.